Today in the livestock market, cattle was steady. Those markets are stalled ahead of the cattle on feed report coming up this Friday. The April uh, futures did have a dollar and a quarter range, which is relatively small considering where we've been, uh, but largely sideways. Still, it's been at the high side um, of this $5 channel that we have been in really since mid-December between 171 and 176. So we're, we're, we're up there towards the high side. Um, let's see if we can still have some market support going forward. Seaval is at 13.3%. Feeders were also firm that solid gains in box prices, uh, I think is kind of helping support the market. There we had a dollar and a half range, uh, a high of 229.25, uh, uh, continues that uptrend and keeping the market moving, um, moving up really from that December 7th low of $2 or $210. Uh, and 625. Uh, CVAL is at 15.2%, again, a lower uh, from where it has been really over the last couple of weeks. Hogs today were higher. Fundamental uh, market support is really uh, giving that a little bit of a boost. We started lower, but we were able to rebound. We did get to a high of 78. And we had a dollar and a half range. So there really hasn't been much in livestock as far as the range goes. We did end up about a half a buck. But let's face it, this extreme weather is impacting um, all the livestock as a whole on where uh, on the movement as well as the slaughter schedule. So we're going to be watching that as long as this uh, cold snap uh, stays with us. And then we'll see after the thaw if we're able to get back to normal. Uh, right now, the CVAL is at 24% for the lean hogs. Uh, Friday's on feed report will be the focus now for the rest of the week.